Welcome back to a Global Business Report on Arise News. Talking about entrepreneurship in Nigeria, despite the challenges, there are people who are thriving business-wise. Music producer come entrepreneur Ubi Franklin is one of them, and he is here in our studio to tell us the art behind the Made Man Music Group and other businesses he is into. Ubi Franklin, it's good to have you with us. Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, fine. Now tell us about your foray into the online hailing app business. What was the attention? Um, in 2015, having done music, mm. followed Nigerian artists, different techno, yeah, yeah, mm. um, everywhere around the world, yeah. you know, to different concerts, sitting in, in different uh, halls with different kind of people. Mm. Um, it got boring at some point. I felt like there could be better, there could be other things I would do, yeah. you know, that would make it better. Yeah, not, not many yeah. people will say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know, the money is yeah. good, but, mm. you know, there are times where you, you stay in something and it becomes mm. boring, All you right. know. So I, I felt like I needed a new challenge. Uh, so I started thinking about things to do. So in 2016, uh, I'd gone to have a baby in America. Oh, so I was good. doing my laundry myself. So I decided to start the laundry app. And then after that, I, 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 I like, I, I, whenever I travel, I, hmm. hit, I hate staying in hotels. Right. I like staying in like apartments, you know, I can cook and do something, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So I now started the instant apartment, which is for um, short lit apartments, a property side of business. And then uh, last year, I started the, uh, instant ride mm -hmm. so which is currently in calabar and is doing very well so, mm -hmm. yeah. so, so what, what, obviously there will be challenges depending on the environment you find you yourself see, in so it, it, it's difficult to find investors here mm. you know people here believe that you see the tech the tech businesses in nigeria right now are not businesses that you wake up in the morning and you just make money out of it yeah so you need time you need to get once it starts getting traction mm. there are people that will come and say or we are interested. I just mm -hmm. got back to Nigeria two days ago. Yeah. I've been on the trip to raise funds for the company because um, I'm, I'm very proud to say that the apartment side of the business mm -hmm. uh, were done rev total revenue of at least three point two mm -hmm. million dollars, which wow. is is rare for a, for a company that doesn't. We don't have no investor, no international mm -hmm. investor, no international press, but we've been um, trading between Lagos, Abuja, Dubai, mm -hmm. Ghana, and we're able to have. Done those numbers, which I'm really proud of. Mm -hmm. yeah. You should, you should yeah. be. So because, mm. in our society, we, we need to find a way to look at business because tech is the future. Yeah. I'm sure very soon you can sit in your house and you transmit your news from your house, mm -hmm. and the other person joins in, and then we are pushing it out because that's where, where that's where technology is going to. Yeah. I just saw something yesterday about uh, uh, there's an artificial technology uh, stuff that can tell when a baby is crying what is really wrong with the baby. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, we're moving there, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need to look at around our environment to see how we can support a lot of tech, uh, tech companies that are growing with the great ideas and to disrupt the, 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 the economy. Very good. And the profitability of these businesses, what do you make of it? Well, um, for me, I, the businesses are profitable. Mm. I believe every business is profitable. It yeah. depends on the, um, the route you take. You know, there are people that go into business because they feel it's going to be profitable in 20 minutes. Yeah. No. Or in two days, in three days. And, you know, it took me three years to be able to, uh, two, two, uh, no, one year and mm. to get to $3.2 million because it's a business that already had a market. All I needed to do was tap into yeah. the market that already existed. There are some other businesses that I'm, I'm sure that they've been four years, five years, and they've not done up to 100 million naira. Do you understand? So yeah. it's, it's like that. So uh, what I've been doing is I've been, it's profitable, but you need to, if you look at the profit now, it would, it would derail you from the goal. Mm. So you need to know that, okay, it's profitable, but you need to build the yeah. proper traction to get you to the profit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start talking about your holiday travel business. Uh, now, the issue of tourism comes to mind uh, here. Uh, are we making any headway as a country in encouraging the prospects there? Well, um, Nigeria, Nigeria is rich in tourism. Mm -hmm. I'm from a, a state in Nigeria, Cross River State, who, that's known for tourism. Yes, that's, you know? you, that's the usual rhetoric. Yeah. But, you know. So you know, beyond that. And I've, I haven't traveled around Nigeria. Yeah. I've seen a lot of beautiful places in Nigeria that are tourists. Uh, that are well tourist attractions yeah. in Nigeria. But you see, in our image internationally, you know, I don't think our, to our tourist attraction is for only Nigerians to consume. Yeah. Now, the reason why um, it's not thriving now is because our image internationally is, is, is wrong or we don't brand ourselves very well. In America, you see, they shoot people every day, mm -hmm. something is happening, but they find a way to manage the stories. Yeah. But, and we see travel to America. Mm -hmm. But there are people that will not want to come to Nigeria because they believe that if they go to Maybe an Abukun waterfall, mm. or they go to um, somewhere, you know, they'll, they'll be kidnapped. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful places, you know, and 
we cannot just sell these tourism packages mm -hmm. to Nigerians. We need to sell it to the international community. We need to brand ourselves. We need to be involved. Yeah. You know, so it's from the individual yeah. that starts selling it. We don't even need to wait for the, the country as Nigeria to start branding the tourism, um, our tourism destinations. Mm -hmm. If I travel, I tell them, oh, have you been to Cross River? Mm -hmm. Come, okay, in December, I am, I'm, I, uh, I'm inviting you for the carnival. Mm -hmm. You know, so really, I'll, I'll, I'll go online, show them pictures, show them videos of how the carnival is. I'm selling my, I'm selling from where I come mm -hmm. from because it's something I have witnessed. Direct marketing. It's a direct <laughs> marketing. So it's good. Mm -hmm. So we need, to, we need to brand ourselves as a country. Yeah. You know, America is a brand. And under that brand has different branches. Mm -hmm. They have different offices. So when you get it, so that's why we go, we we'll go to Miami, you want to yeah. go to LA, you want to, mm -hmm. because of the branded the country. So we need to brand the country. Once we brand the country, the country our tourism attract, our tourism locations in Nigeria will, will thrive. Very and that's good. A, that's what, what I think. Very good, and it's all in the mind. Yeah, uh, and it's really, all in the mind. Yeah, and it's how we, why we, and we need to, we need to also find. It. I was so, I was watching the video of yeah. uh, videos of um, Sam Wolu, the uh, governor of Lagos yeah. State. Mm. You know, a lot of things that he has been doing since he resumed office, mm. and I was like. This is what we need. Mm. We need affirmative. You, yeah, we need. We, yeah, we need someone that is talking to you and it's telling you, if we catch you beating the traffic light, mm -hmm. or we we'll catch you causing traffic, or we we'll catch you driving against traffic, and we arrest you, go and call the president. <laughs> and if you, you know how, if you if you if you think you have a link to the president yeah. that will make you break rules, yeah. that means Nigeria is, Nigeria is a failed system. Mm. If I if they catch my driver, my driver beating traffic light, right. and they arrest him, I should go there and pay the fine rather okay. than. You know, pay the fan or either sack mm. him or rather than go in there to beg because or call somebody because I know somebody. Very good. There's a system. All right. Yeah. Uh, Obi, uh, um, I know music uh, more or less gave yeah. you that opportunity. Yes, definitely. So, how would you uh, describe uh, situations there, management wise? You know, the Yanya, uh, Imbroglio, and uh, all that. So, what are your thoughts there? Um, management is a very dicey mm. um, game in the, in the entertainment industry because yeah. you you take all the the blows, mm -hmm. everybody sees you, you're the one that takes it. They see you as though that you mm -hmm. take the final decision, but you also always need to talk to the mm -hmm. artist and say, hey, listen, this is where we are, this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I can't do this. And then, even if I don't agree with the artist, yeah. I still go back to the person and say, no, we cannot do this. And mm -hmm. I'm standing my ground, no, we cannot, because the artist has said, no, we cannot do it. Okay. Now, it's, it's also, we need to get to a point where artists are really aware mm -hmm. of what the industry is and what artists needs. Um, so the managers are really aware of what the artist needs, what the industry needs, yeah. and how to uh, be able to persuade your artist to do the right thing. Yeah. You know, uh, it's crazy. The artists that don't even want to listen, and mm -hmm. because a lot of artists just brought in guys that are either they are friends from way back yeah. or people that are inexperienced. That's mm -hmm. why the industry is still very distorted. Okay. Because there are people that are sitting in management position that never learned the job, mm -hmm. or they, they, they don't understand what the, jo the job itself is about. But briefly, yeah. are they getting a good deal for their efforts? You know, you know. You, you I, 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 don't, I don't. The, I don't think so because after a while, after a while, mm. if you don't own, if you didn't bring the artist from a particular point, mm. they can just get to a point where they become. They tell you, okay, we believe that at the point where our brand is, we want to move on, mm. and then they leave you. Then you start struggling to find another artist to bring into the industry mm. and everything. So, the structure in our industry is still me very messed up, and I believe that with time. We can all come together to fix it. Once there's a proper structure, everybody knows what. It, the guys that I really am feeling for so much is the producers. The, the guys that create the beats that make the, 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 the beats. We need to find a way to structure the industry where they are paid properly mm. for what they're doing to the DJs, to the um, whatever that is involved in the, and the, the music business, you know, the 360 business for the music. So, very important for us to get them. With right. the right deals, you know, so they are all comfortable. All right, uh, we'll be Franklin, uh, yeah. music uh, producer and entrepreneur, yeah. and all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> Many yeah. thanks for your yeah. thoughts. Thanks on so this. much. It's good to have you with us. Thanks so much. All right, and that's Global Business Report. Stay tuned to Rise News from all of us. Thanks for your company. I'm Nee Williams.